what up y'all and welcome back to another one we're at the lake it's hot it, it's hot back where our campers are the winds blowing a breeze back in these coves it's still it feels muggy back here yeah yes dad and i we got the campers out we got the family out uh, we camped last night and uh, we knew that we were going to try a good old magnet fishing sin today. And luckily, it's really hot and really windy and the fishermen are not out and about. Come on, Freddy. We got Freddy back though. All you magnet fishing fans, y'all have missed him. He's been at the trainer. Before we get going today, all the ducks gear that I'm always sporting, guys, if you guys want to pick something up, use code BOB, Bob, at checkout. It'll save you some cash. You can use it at any time on as many items as you want. Spread it around, give it to your friends, your family. You know the deal. But every time we've tried to come to these docks, there's been fishermen upon fishermen upon fishermen, just tons of people. You can't get to them. You can't get to them and you don't want to, you don't want to like, disrupt their fish right right you yeah. know when you're magnet fishing guys one thing to do got to be respectful to the fishermen because usually they're here first and when you're just throwing a magnet around you tend to scare the fish yeah. so that's my spiel i'm sticking to it it's all about ethics outdoor ethics guys have them respect your neighbor we're all friends out here um help each other out let's get to it oh my god he knows him <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. You probably heard somebody's voice, didn't you? Uh, oh, really? <laughs> oh. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Love your channel. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. I really enjoy the winter sitting around watching you. All the duck hunting. I know, oh, that's yeah. what I wish I was doing now. Magnet fishing. Well, here we are, first dock of the day. It's been a, quite a while since we've done this dock. We just met that fella that y'all seen, and nice, nice gentleman. He actually, he lives the van life. He was telling us how it is living the van life. Shout out to him, awesome dude. Let's get after it. We've been waiting to magnet fish these docks just because there's every time we come, there are tons and tons and tons of fishermen everywhere constantly pretty cool getting to meet somebody that watches the channel that's happened a few times now oh yeah the guy that's camping next to us we met him right here last year on that boat and last night he came and introduced himself he was like you made me youtube famous last year and i didn't even know it <laughs> starting to uh get the, the words getting around about us being out here dad Get something? I hit something. Nothing at all, huh? We need better than that, Dad. Oh, look at there. I'm beating, I'm beating you to the punch. I got two nails. Uh, I'm hitting. Come on, dude. Where you at? I'm hitting something that's not eroding. You know what them nails are? Them are bucket material. Well, just taking my time. Ooh, ooh, there's something. Something felt like it latched on right there. Ooh, what's that? We got a big screw. I got two nails and a giant wood screw. You're ahead of me by a screw. <laughs> uh, about the same thing. About the same thing I got. We got three big screws. Yeah, those are wood screws. They were giant ones. Huh. Nothing but hardware out here. Start our own hardware company. The rate this is going. I can't believe the beer, the, like the bottle caps, the chew cans. Man, we used to find all that stuff. We must have done cleaned it up and got the word out for people to stop throwing their stuff in there. You know what? Do we have anything other than a bunch of mud? Nope. Look, Fred says, I'm hot. I'm getting in the water. He's just the, the local otter dog. Anything on yours? Come on. Oh, you got a little red hook. That's Ooh. about it. Well, Fred has taken upon himself to go ahead and be the camera guy with the underwater footage. No, he's just hot. And he says, Dad, I'm just going in. Leave me alone. You just keep swimming, Fred. 
Old otter dog. Fred here. Place. Place. Oh. It says it's 89 out, but it feels like it's humid. Yeah. It is humid. And there's a lot of nice people that we just met. Everybody's pretty curious as to what we do down there. Some of them already know you. Some of them say, oh, what are you doing? And yeah. A lot of them already know me. That's crazy. Woo! Well, the last dock was filled with hardware, screws, and nails. Hopefully this dock, we have a little better luck on this dock. Me and Dad have tried to come here. What? What is it? Oh, big old, oh, big old carp underneath. Those are big carp. We need our bow rigs, man. This particular dock, every time we try to come to it, there's fishermen all over it. Finally, nobody on it. We're gonna give it a go. It's not a big one, uh, but this one here, probably one of the most heaviest used, heaviest fished docks on the lake, to be honest. Yeah, every time we come here, there's a bunch of people on it. Let's see how deep she is. She, ooh, good depth, about six foot or better. Give us something good. I got something real heavy coming up. Come here real quick. You might have to grab this. Oh, come here. Hurry, 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 hurry. What is that? A tire? A tire? What the heck? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> yeah, that's a tire. You can, yeah, you can let it go. That's like a old, big old tire. Huh. Like the front of a tractor tire. Yeah, that's exactly what I think it was. Huh. Well, there we go. Biggest find of the day. We had to let her back go. <laughs> you know, let them go, let them grow. <laughs> you throwing it already? I'm always throwing it. I guarantee you we would have lifted that out of the water. There's so many people that know where we're at. Would have been like, put it back, that's for the fish. You know it, <laughs> Gar guaranteed. We're not trying to mess up the fishing, y'all. We know, put it back. Christmas trees, any type of structure, put it back. I know, I know. Tires right there, just trying to grab my magnet again. You get something? Well, look at that. You got a chain. There's something right there, uh -huh. and it breaks loose and breaks loose and breaks loose, and this is what I found. There's still something down there. Chain? It must be an anchor or something over there. It could be. I bet it is. There might be a good anchor down there. Well, uh, Fred just fell in. Did he fall in? Or I think he fell in. Fred, what are you doing, my man? You can't get. You can't make it back up there now. Look at him. Oh, help me. I'm a poor dog. Come on, Fred, here. Did you get something again? What? Oh, Corona. We were just talking about bottle caps. Look at that. The Corona special. First one in a while. Yeah, yeah. There we are on the board with a bottle cap. Murder weapon coming next. <laughs> I feel like I got something decent on here. What do I have? I have nushing. Ooh, I got a beer cap. And I don't even, hold on, let me see. I'll have a guess. Ooh, okay, I can barely tell what it is. What do you think it is? What brand? Corona. Nope, Heineken. 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 Well, a big nothing for me yet again. What do you got? I've never seen one of those cats before. What is that? Brewed with 100% American barley. That is a red cap. Drop a comment down below. It's got a picture of a barley head on it. I think it might be Budweiser. That's what I'm thinking because there's a red. Yeah, might be Budweiser. Boy. I remember the first time we came to this dock. We found, remember we found that chair right off the bat, a chair that we put up here on the bank. Yep. 
Do we have anything? Oh! Another beer tab. What do you think it is? Corona. Another Heineken. Heineken. <laughs> That's a really good one. We got a he Heineken, a little Heine drinker out here. Bub, you gotta stop throwing your beer taps off of the dock, okay? Let's just put them in the pocket or something, bud. Good Lord. Look at this. Heineken. Heineken, the same like amount of time of wear and everything. I think somebody's catching more of a buzz than they are fish. On exactly. The dock. Hey, Heine drinker. <laughs> Guarantee it's one guy. Promise you. You know it? Yeah. And he sat his chair right here, popped the old top, and just chucked it literally right here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Boy, howdy. That was something. Oh, look at that. Oh. We got a fishing structure. Any goodies on it? Don't look like it. This is the type of stuff that people will get pissed yeah. off if we don't put it back. <laughs> you know what I mean? They will be mad. Just a mess of string. Okay, let her go. See you later. Not here to make anybody mad. Oh, no. Look what's on the... Look, I didn't even see it. Oh, no way. <laughs> look, those are tweezers. They were on the branch. Look how big I just those said, are. That magnet's been sitting at my Look feet. At those are on sweet. That. Oh yeah, it's got grooves on it. Probably to cut your line or something. What kind of tweezer? Let's see. Made in China. That tells us everything. Those are sweet. Here you go. I know you want those. those going to Best find place. of the day. For surely. Oh man. Those are sweet. Those are definitely really usable. We're uh we're fishing tonight. Guys, like I always say, if you guys like the magnet fishing videos with myself, Dad, and old Frederick, smash that thumbs up button. If we can get this video, I don't know, let's just get it up to like a 1, thousand, fifteen hundred likes as fast as possible. That will let us know that we need to spend the rest of the summer really concentrating and producing some really good magnet videos for y'all. Oh, that's the same branch again. Anything, nothing. But seriously, y'all, let us know. We much appreciate it. Oh, what'd you just find? <laughs> it's a little rusty. A little rusty, yeah. Oh, look, there's a hook on it. And a hook. That's fish pole holder right there. That's for a boat. Look at that. Or someone was using that bad boy right there. Oh, that looks like it's almost set right there. Well, that is definitely reusable. We're gonna have to put that on the pontoon boat. <laughs> That's a good find, Dad. Good find. Uh, just bucket material, huh? It's a bucket material. Hi, Frederick. Are you hot? Huh? Poor guy. Look at him. Poor guy. Just look at him. Well, we're gonna start about right here. Go along this side. Now, in these situations, I've already went up against the dock like really close i try to hold my arm out as far as possible and really really get it out there away from the dock somewhere i haven't you know magnet fished yet just cover your area that's my best i always have people asking me bob we went out three times i haven't found anything guys just use different tactics and you'll figure out what works best but if i can help you all i will cover different areas don't keep magnet fishing the same exact area over and over oh look at that he goes i don't want to look at it you got to look at it look at that that's an old deep diver a little swim bait action look at that i mean i'm not the best fisherman in the world but that's pretty dang nice somebody did not want to lose that yeah heck yes you go you you have to smash a thumbs up button for that bad boy that's what's up bucket material that's some that's some good bucket material nothing you lose again <laughs> well how long have we been here about an hour about an hour right around there feels like an hour i'm telling you once you get away from where we're camped at and you get in these coves, I'm serious. There's it, no wind. There's no wind, no breeze. You go over there, it's 15 mile an hour. Yeah. And it gets humid. <sighs> yep, I'm hot. I'm so hot. one thing I want to uh, hit on today, it's been a long time at our repetitive spots that we went to that we found as many bottle caps as we did today. So what I'm getting at, 
the amount of Heineken tabs that I found in the same area, which I can guarantee you there's a lot more down there, that was one guy probably during one night of fishing yeah. or one whole day, guaranteed. Yeah, what is this, our third or fourth video? Yeah. And this being our third or fourth video, we in the, in the previous videos this year, we may have found two maybe? Yeah. And there's been sometimes, like years back when we found like 50 bottle oh, caps. Oh yeah. So what I'm saying, the issue's gotten a lot better throughout the years, but that right there was one guy just throwing his trash into the water, as well as this. This is called a dock, not a garbage can. This over here is called a dock, not a garbage can. The rocks, check it out. It's just, this is um, something that's obviously a big issue oh who would have guessed dad there are the heineken bottles uh-huh look buddy didn't even throw the bottles away he just put them up here on the rocks one two three four heineken bottles well let's pick them up we had uh, three or four heineken caps yeah oh matches the hatch huh so guy whoever you are come on man you shouldn't be doing this it's ridiculous this is what's could possibly end it for everybody. Yeah. It is literally littering. littering. Do not litter. Littering in these areas is what gets them shut down to exactly. public use. The public don't get to use them no more because of this. Respect your public lands, guys. Hopefully I don't get bit by a water moccasin. Ay ay ay. Every time we go somewhere, this is what Bobby does. Every single time. Well, we are indeed back home. Uh, I said that we were gonna end it at the camper, and I tried, but it was way, way, way too windy. It got so windy, in fact, Dad and I had to load up our campers and go home. It was like a steady, like 40, 45 mile an hour wind. It was nasty. We didn't catch uh, the most stuff, but we picked up a lot of trash. Yep, and... This is about all, oh, just a bunch of junk. Kind of a good stringer, uh, but yeah. Some bottle caps, fingernail clippers, those were cool. Another fingernail, two pairs of fingernail clippers in one day, check that out. But bottle caps, oh yeah, fishing rod holder, a piece of chain, but this right here. Guys, it seems like no matter what year it is, it I don't, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't matter what time of day, what year, uh, what time of year, winter, summer, every time I go to the lake and we go magnet fishing, anywhere around a dock, especially where people can gather and fish, that right there, everywhere. Every time, all over the rocks, all over the dock, anywhere that someone can throw a piece of trash, it's there. I'm not just talking about um, bottle caps only. Um, it is pretty lazy just to sit on a dock and throw your bottle caps in the water. What I'm getting at, guys, we have to keep our outdoors clean. We have to keep our public lands clean. If we don't, we're going to ruin it for ourselves and each other, okay? This goes for uh, fishing waters, lakes, ponds, streams, rivers, uh, to to the normal guy going down the road chucking your trash out the window. Come on, y'all. Let's keep our Mother Earth clean. Gotta quit this stuff. Public uh, hunting lands, just like public marshes. Pick up your empty shells like I always preach. Guys, I'd like to say it's getting better, but after seeing that at the lake, it ain't getting better. We need to use our heads. Spread the good word as much as you can about keeping our public lands clean. Come on, guys, no littering. Spread the word, no littering. 
Maybe I need to make Bobby Guy film shirts made from ducks that say, no littering, okay? Yo, no littering. <laughs> but I wanna thank you guys for being here. Dad isn't here to end this one with us. Uh, he's at home, but uh, I'm sure he would tell you guys thank you for being here as well. We always enjoy you guys being here. Without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this. Remember, if you guys wanna pick up something from ducks, head on down to the description below. I will link everything down there. Use code Bob at checkout to save yourself some money. Yes, Bob. It's good all year, anytime. Give it to your friends, your family, use it up. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell on there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. But until next time, y'all, tell them bye, Frederick. Come on, tell them bye, Frederick. That's all you got is just your cute puppy face, huh? Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.